Fibroid, a non-cancerous growth of the uterus that often appears during childbearing years. With the growth of the tumor comes irregular menstrual flows, back aches, perfect pains, and other associated symptoms. But that's not all. Fear grows with it too. To get rid of this growth, surgery is often recommended. Many women are scared to go under the knife. Awesome news is that fibroid can be shrunk without going under the knife. The procedure is called high intensity focused ultrasound, IFO for short. Dr. Abayomi Ajayi is a consultant gynecologist and tells us more on IFO. What this is all about is that we are able to like concentrate the ultrasound rays and it's converted to heat energy to burn the fibroids and its blood supply. So in other words, we're just killing the fibroids and its blood supply. According to National Center for Biotechnology Information, globally, over 180,000 women have had IFU procedure. But in West Africa, IFU is barely six months old. Patricia Omoke, 39 years old, lived with fibroid for years. For her, it was an experience she describes as best imagined. It was such a terrible condition and experience because I had to go through a lot, ranging from heavy bleeding, dizziness, constipation, just name it. You know, at a point people were like, are you pregnant? You know, the stomach was that obvious. While I was searching through the internet for other options, I came in contact with IFO and I, through an eye, had to trace where they are to somewhere in Lagos, where I eventually, I eventually did the surgery to the glory of God. Patricia is the first to undergo IFO treatment in Nigeria. For her, it was quite an experience. Anxious and scared, she went through the procedure, daring whatever the outcome will be. I was thinking a lot that what if something goes wrong? What if I end up being incapacitated? What if the doctors in charge, you know, miss out one thing or the other, being their first, me being their first patient? Quick recovery time and a no risk of blood loss make the list of the advantages of this procedure over open surgery. For Patricia, getting a painless way out of years of pain is one thing she never thought was possible. Why I was under the treatment on the iPhone machine, I did not experience any pain. It is something as simple as lying down and relaxing while the machine does its work. You just lie down for like an hour or so, and after which they will tell you it is done, it's over. It's a day case. So the patient just walks in on the day of the procedure and goes out after about two hours. We observe them for another two hours and they're good to go home. Now, now it's also cosmetic. There is no scar, either on the skin or on the uterus. So the advantage of this on the uterus is that it's easier for the woman to have a baby in another maybe six months, nine months after the procedure, unlike what we used to do before when you cut through the uterus. Now, the other thing is that we don't, there is no blood transfusion involved at all. If I was even getting prepared for them to, to, I mean, for them to start telling me that, okay, we are about starting. When they now told me that it's, it, they are over, they are over with the treatment, I was like, wow. Sadly, a testimony like Patricia's cannot be the same for many African women. On one hand, the facilities that offer this treatment option are very limited in Africa. Presently, only Nigeria, South Africa, and Egypt can boast of resident IFO centers. Secondly, there are other medical considerations. Doctors usually consider four things. The, the symptoms, the, uh, the age of the patient, the location of the fibroid, and the, uh, the symptoms of the fibroid, or the, or the desire to want to get pregnant or not. So, when we look at all this, IFO is usually not best suited for fibroids that are in the cavity.
cavity of the uterus. So, and also what we call um, pedunculated fibroids. But this we can use because fibroids usually don't occur singly. We can combine HIFU with some other methods like endoscopy. We can use it sometimes also when we are treating adenomyosis. We can use it with Zoladex or some of these drugs that can shrink uh, fibroids and uh, adenomyosis. So it can be used in combination with some other things. Patricia is now a believer. It can only be hoped that many will be able to access and afford this painless and bloodless option in Africa. <laughs>